Kwa. I'm 16. I was born in Denver, Colorado. I've been skating for four and a half years, and I'm regular footed. What was it like when I got my first board? It was, it was a Walmart board. I wasn't too happy about it, but it was something. Like, I started off with something. It was cool. My dad hooked me up. Um, I, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I'd be skating. Things I had to overcome was my parents, they weren't supportive, they didn't care what I was doing, like, just didn't care. I had to get hand-me-down boards, anything used for my friends. It was hard for like the first three years. I think my parents were supportive after that competition I won because they didn't think I would win out of like the people I'm competing with. Happiest moment is probably winning that competition because I've always wanted to win one when I skateboard. Just always thinking about it, just winning one. Just one. And in first place, we have the master hard flipper of Sheridan Park, Mr. Kwa. Good job. Good job. Dude, Quaz got a great hard flip. Um, he's just fun to skate with, dude. He, he's just somebody that pushes you, you know? Makes you try to go harder. Another happy moment would be hard flip in the eighth set. It took me four months, but I never committed to, for like, in four months, I never committed. And then December, I just busted. It was crazy. Like, Quaz the next generation, you know? You're done, right? <laughs> Dude! Yeah, hard flip is, <laughs> that just, that just shows, that just shows how stoked people get when they first land a trick. Skating hasn't really affected my school. I still concentrate in school and I do good. And then when it comes to skating, I concentrate on that. So they're two different things. I do see myself skating in 10 years. I hope I have a kid that skateboards. I'll teach him how to skate. It feels great. Just skating with the homies, learning new stuff. This is my home park. Can't leave this park. I'll leave and skate other parks, but this is like my home park. My main place to be. People who influenced me would be Dom Martinez, Peter Brubaker, Brandon Evans, Jared Azam, James Domer for sure. He's got some great bull stuff, you know. The tricks they do just amazes me sometimes. I'm just thinking like, damn, like, just motivates me. I have a lot of great, great, uh, a lot of uh, great skating buddies, but I think Dom Martinez always motivates me. Just makes me try new tricks. Oh learn stuff my again. God! I met him at the skate park when I first started skateboarding. I barely know. I just, I didn't know how to fit 50, and then I fell and hit my head. 
and he's just standing there laughing at me and then he taught me how to do it. It was amazing. Ever since then, we just skated every day. Skateboarding changed my life because it kept me out of trouble. I could have been doing some bad things, done drugs, or been up in jail if I didn't skateboard. Um, my parents are very supportive now for me skateboarding. And I think without it, I would be nothing today with, you know, I wouldn't be who I am today. And when it comes to skateboarding, I can do whatever I want. I don't have to worry.